Welcome back to the programme. Well, Serbia has placed its troops on full alert after a Kosovan police anti-crime operation in northern Kosovo, which is populated mainly by Serbs, led to clashes. Belgrade said it viewed the operation as an attempt by Kosovo to take control of northern areas bordering Serbia. Parts of some Serb-majority municipalities in northern Kosovo remain largely outside Kosovan control and pledge allegiance to Belgrade. Well, let's look at some context here because Kosovo declared independence from Serbia back in 2008 and that was after a bloody conflict with its neighbour uh, that ended in the late 1980s, early 90s. 1990. And that ended with the intervention of NATO. But Serbia's always refused to recognize that independence. And the area that remains particularly tense, well, the northern border. 90% of the population there is ethnic Serb. Well, to discuss this further, we're going to be joined by Jurgen Samso, and he's in Belgrade. Well, thanks so much for joining us on the program. Well, explain to us why is this area such a flashpoint? Well, as we see in the, in the graphics you've just shown us, it's uh, mainly populated by uh, Kosovo Serbs, and therefore they and they pledge allegiance to Belgrade. So any any time something happens, you could say from the south, there is some intervention or something happens. It 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 infuriates uh, not only Belgrade but also the people who are living there. So it's also it's a it's a disputed territory. You have to remember that Kosovo, in that sense, is still divided in the north and the south. And how likely is this to escalate in that case? Well, I think it's still too early to say, but tensions are clearly high on, on both sides. Here in Belgrade, the, the Serbian president has said that, that he's put the security forces in full combat readiness. And also, uh, as we've seen, there's uh, tensions are running high inside of Kosovo. And also the, the whole uh, international community are on high alert. There's the NATO peacekeeping force in Kosovo. There's UNMIC, uh, UN's mission there. Has all the all and the EU itself has called calm, called for things to calm down, so that uh, so that, that things don't escalate. So, but it's still too early to say which directions direction this will go. Okay, if we look at this uh, particular kind of flashpoint that's just occurred, Serbia says the operation was designed to intimidate the minority Serb population. Uh, is there any truth in that? Uh, if you look at it from the Serbian perspective, then I would clearly say yes. There is uh, every time that you that there something happens in the north, and um, it's perceived here in Belgrade and in the north of Kosovo as an intimidation and as 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 an interference as we've seen that uh, Serbia doesn't recognize Kosovo. And this is, this is a stronghold in the north for Serb. So, so, so there is some truth to that if you look at it from the Serbian perspective. Okay, well, thanks so much for putting that in perspective for us. Jürgen Samso there for us in Belgrade.